The equities market continued trading activities on a positive note as NSC ASI records 0.75% gain amid increased volume turnover as market sentiment and market bread close positive. Its year-to-date returns currently stands at minus 9.55%. Welcome to the Market Opening Gong, the program that gives you updates from the Nigerian capital market. This edition captures the market performance for Wednesday, July 8, 2020. From the Nigerian Stock Exchange, the All Share Index closed at 24,278.7 basis points with a market capitalization of 12.664 trillion naira in 3,523 deals. At the close of trading for the day, investors gained 94.21 billion naira as market recorded 25 gainers to 8 losers. Wapco, Julius Berger Nigeria and Linkage Assurance were top gainers for equity, while Berger Paints, Caverton Offshore Support GRP and Ecobank Transnational Incorporated were among the top losers. Fidelity Bank, MTN Nigeria Communications and Wapco were the top players in terms of trade volumes and most active to boost market turnover. Looking at the FMBQ OTC exchange, the debt market size closed at 28.74 trillion naira. The NAFEX rate closed at 387 naira 70 kobo to a dollar, while the INE FX rate opened at 387 naira 32 kobo to a dollar and closed at 386 naira 75 kobo to a dollar. For the NASD OTC, the NSI closed at 708.20 basis points with a market capitalization of 520.22 billion. The volume of shares traded was 315,967 and 7.41 million in terms of value traded in 10 deals executed for the day. You can also check for global, commodity, currency and other indices on the economic dashboard displayed on the screen. For the highlights from yesterday, the Nigeria Export Processing Zones Authority, in a bid to spike influx of both local and international investors to the 41 free trade zones strategically located in the country, has sought and secured partnership of the Nigeria Investment Promotion Commission to expedite the process. The managing director, Professor Adesoji Adesuba, said the collaborative efforts with NIPC would be magnetic and very inclusive, which has become vitally important to position Nigeria to grab a substantial portion of the world's investment post-COVID-19 pandemic. The NIPC Executive Secretary, Yewande Sadiku, on her part, supports the authority to ignite the right approaches to attract and maintain investors, adding that NEPSA has a great platform to drive the country's industrialization. For the key market activities to watch today, Dangote Sugar Refinery PLC will hold its 14th annual general meeting at a co-hotel and suits by 11 a.m. In a continuation of our Millennial Investment Series with Mrs. Tomi Balogun, she sheds more light on investment clubs. All right, so like, I mean, you started off with sharing my story. So it was, for me, it was a wake up call when I realized that I had been working for this number of years and I had no, you know, say, detached assets or savings or any sort. And knowing the kind of person that I am, or I was, because I'm a little better now, um, it was, I knew that I would need people, friends to hold me accountable. Because I knew that if I started this journey, I would probably maybe one day I'll just be like, this I beg, I cannot come and die. <laughs> I didn't go right. kill myself. Let me just spend this money. <laughs> you know? So it was I knew that I needed that accountability. So I had a group of MBA classmates and we said, you know what, let's start an investment club. You know, at the time we didn't call it an investment club. We just knew that we wanted to go a step further or a step higher than the popular Ajo or Isusu. That a lot of people do. So if you know the traditional savings scheme, so that's the Ajoy, Susu, people just come mm -hmm. together and they pay each other in cycles. But I knew that I didn't want that. I wanted something that we could come together, invest in you know stock market and assets and small businesses, and actually see that money grow over a period of time. You know, so right after my MBA, we started first salary, first income, we started taking money out. You know, we made investment in bill. 
and that's how I really got into learning a lot about the markets you know, because that's when I knew that look it's one thing to have the money it's another thing to actually understand how to invest in it, right so that's another lesson because for us we thought that all we had to do was pull money together because as, a, as an individual I thought that my money would not be enough to do a lot of the things that I had in mind so I thought if I come together with friends five of us pull money together we'll be able to do a lot more things but then when we started losing money, <laughs> we started losing money and we knew that, look, it's not, it's not just about having the cash. You also need to have an education about how best to invest you know, the money. So that's what started my journey, my process and investment course. And on that journey, I started to blog about it. And a lot of people started asking me questions. And I thought, okay, this is something I could share. Because I saw that, look, there's really an advantage to come together with people that are like-minded people that are interested on in that journey with you. He just keeps you motivated that I'm not the only one. So even, I mean, sometimes you're like, ah, please, I need to spend this money. You just remember that look, if you do not transfer that money, if somebody's going to call you and say, what's going on? We all agree to do this. Why are you stepping back now? You know, so I decided to blog about it and that led me on the journey. So I've also found out that there are different models of investment clubs. So when we started our model, it was a financial model. We contribute money and we all would right. invest actively over time. But then I realized that not everybody was at that point mm-hmm. where uh, we're ready, you know. So it's one thing to be ready. So for instance, you can start an investment club and start contributing money, and then you start losing money. You'll be afraid. <laughs> like I did not come here to come and lose money, please, mm-hmm. right? So it's one thing to be ready. It's another thing to know that well, I need to learn how to invest first. So because of that, I wrote a book. I, I built the framework around investment clubs, and I thought, you know what? There are three models of investment clubs beyond the model that we hear about from the United States. There should be another community model, which is the Green Investment Club, where we all come together as a community to learn together, share investment opportunities, and basically grow together. You know, so I have the financial club, which is what I started with my friend six years ago, okay. and I also have the community model, which is the Green Investment Club. Now, the Green Investment Club, we have over a thousand members across thirteen countries, and till date, we've done over two point two billion. That's five million dollars. So that's a thousand in- young people. Absolutely, a thousand wow. amazing young millennial investors. And from sometimes it gets really emotional for me because I started this journey with 35 members. And I see those 35 people today actively investing. They're like, Tommy, where's the next investment opportunity? You know, we, I mean, seeing the change in two years, I get emails and someone, sometimes they say to me, thank you. Thank you so much. I can't believe I own real estate. I own stocks. I own all of this. I mean, mm-hmm. they could have just been like me, working for four or five years and owning nothing, right? Yeah. So with that model, we've taken advantage of the power of many as well. So we attract investment opportunities. And because we want to do things correctly, we do due diligence, which is one of the ways we educate people about scams, how to avoid bad investment opportunities. And to date, we have not had a bad investment, um, an investment go bad. Any investment that we have put our money to in the green investment, you know, because we are very, very careful and selective. Right. So yes, I mean, financial markets go up and down, but I'm saying in terms of us investing in something that goes bad, we haven't had that. Right. So that's the green investment club, the community model, you know, and it's been an amazing journey and I'm looking forward to growing more and more and educating more people on this journey. Now, the final model, which is what I write about in my book, is the project based model. So for that model, I saw that there was an opportunity for people to come together and do projects, say in real estate or something. Most most, um, I mean, most popular is the real estate. And you know, real estate in Nigeria is quite you know, expensive. A lot of people need a lot of capital to get into. So um, two years ago, I brought 40 women together and we came together to buy land, real estate along the Lekki Ekwe Express. And today, those 40 young women, and you know, it's so amazing because the 40 young women we had, there were one or two people that was from NYSC first job, they started to come and contribute. And some people were much older, but a mix of women, and we came together, and today they all own real estate. That's the power of coming together with like-minded people to achieve And even a holding goal. each other accountable. Absolutely, for two years, you know. So yes, that's what we've seen over time in terms of, um, that's, that's how my journey has been. I started off trying to learn myself, and then also teaching other people how to put together and implement this investment product frameworks. Join us tomorrow as she speaks on some strategies that should be adopted by major exchanges in Nigeria to boost millennial participation and their advice for young individuals in creating long-term wealth. And that will be all for this edition of the Market Opening Gong. Visit www.proshareng.com to get more updates from our news stories and videos. 
Connect with us on our social media platforms, showing on the screen for further updates on our market reports. The ProShare mobile app is also available on Apple Store and Play Store on your mobile device, which allows you to customize your preferred news and videos. Till we come your way again, thank you for watching and do stay safe.